Hi everybody, good evening. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Happy Thursday. How's everybody doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Bye, thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi guys, can you hear me? Yes. How are you? How's everybody doing? Hello, teacher. Pedrina, hello. Hey, Jocelyn, how are you? I am so Richard Hey, Mother, how are you doing? ¿Cómo les está yendo? Are you having a good day? Okay. Hey, Mother, how are you doing? Happy Thursday, everybody. Me alegra que ya estén ready for classes, that you're ready for us. ¿Cómo les está yendo? Having a good day? Yes, a good day. Okay, I'm, I'm muting myself. Okay, everybody, so thanks a lot for joining. Ignacio, me alegra mucho verlo. Thank you so much. Hello, Carlos, Norbert. Oh, Norbert, le debo una respuesta, así que ya le respondo eso. I'm going to check that out. Um, so, guys, uh, welcome to our session number eight. No, sorry, number nine. Welcome to session number nine. El tiempo se nos ha ido volando, ya casi estamos... A mediados de módulo, two more weeks to go, and that would be it. So I'm super excited porque eh, todos vamos avanzando bastante rápido. Everybody is, uh, you know, practicing a lot, speaking a lot, developing, listening, developing, speaking. Uh, los escucho más seguros, con más fluidez, you know. And right now I feel just like uh, todos absorben everything super fast. De hecho, me da hasta miedo. No, I just kidding. Siento que hablo menos español eh, y eso me hace muy feliz. You know, that makes me really happy because, eh, porque seguimos las instrucciones a pesar que por lo general son en inglés. So thanks a lot, eh, you know, por, por estar acá, por meterle, por esforzarse en, y por el tiempo que yo sé que eh, es bastante sacrificado, but we are doing our best. Um, we are having tomorrow la sesión número 10. That means tenemos el examen final. Tenemos eh, la finalización de la plataforma semana 2. Eh, por ahí Norbert me decía de un ejercicio que no le estaba marcando. Así que al finalizar la clase voy a dedicar un par de minutitos para que lo revisemos. Eh, por si ustedes también tienen la misma dificultad. So we can take a look at that. Eh, voy a pasar asistencia. Si me ayudan con su camarita un momento, that would be wonderful. Me regalan confirmación verbal, please, that you are there with your beautiful voices. And I'm sorry, I got too much candy. Así que I'm super hyper. <laughs> I feel like singing, but, you know, bear with me. Um, Anita, no sé si ya estamos por acá, Anita. Maybe not. Eh, Brenda. Brian, el Brian, todavía no ha venido Brian. Okay. Eh, Carlos, I see Carlos already. Hi, Carlos. Thank you so much. Amazing. Eh, Danny, don't see him. Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Thank you so much. Déjeme salir de la otra reunión. Ahí está. Ya no me aparece. Okay. 
Eh, uh, Natalie, me sent. Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hi, How are you, Miss? ¿Qué tal? I'm ¿Cómo estás? Good. Bien, gracias a Dios. Good, good. Great. Okay, okay, I'm great. Nice to listen to that. Uh, Jocelyn, hey, no, Jocelyn. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello. Thanks a lot for joining. Thank Ignacio, thank you so much. Gracias por el esfuerzo. I truly appreciate it. Uh, Norbert, hi, Brian. How are you? I am okay. here, present teacher. Thank you, Norbert. Marvin? Marvin, not yet. Okay, so no, no. Marvin's. Uh, Claribel? Clary? Not yet. Moses. Hi, Moses. Thank you so much, Moses. Uh, Pedrina. Hi, Pedrina. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Me alegra verla por acá. Super happy to see you. And like super early. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Rene. Rene, not yet. Um, Richard. Hi, Richard. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, you're home. Hello. So I'm glad. Me alegra que ya en su casa. I'm glad you're home already. Um, Sandrita, hi Sandrita, how are you doing? Hello teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening, how are you? Oh, you're resting too? I'm glad you're I'm resting. I'm, I'm glad you're home already as well. Hi Mabel, how are you? How is your Thursday going? Hi, I'm fine. Great, great. That's really nice to hear. Thanks a lot. Uh, and Ingrid, por ahí le escuché. Me imagino que ven el bus, Ingrid. No worries. I got you. And whenever you can give me confirmation, that would be great. Hi, Miss. Good music. No, no worries, Ingrid. I understand. Thank you so much. No, I mean, I, I understand because she is like uh, listening to the class in the bus. So just be careful with the phone, please. Uh, hi, Brenda. Okay, Brenda is coming as well. Okay. Okay, everybody. Hi, so, hello, how are you? Hello. Good. Very good, teacher. Great. Oh, you're driving. Be yes. careful. So Thank be you. careful. I hope you get home, you know safe and sound okay guys so thanks a lot for your great attendance we are going to get started today with the session that we have prepared for you okay gracias miss no se preocupe no worries okay uh, parte de lo que vamos a ver ahora son direcciones we are going to be checking directions which mm -hmm. is a very useful topic es un tema muy útil donde quiera que vaya wherever you go um wherever you are Incluso si no es en otro país, but here in El Salvador, especially nowadays, vienen muchos turistas and they can ask you, excuse me, Mabel, excuse me, um, eh, Guadalupe, ¿cómo llego a este lugar? How can I get to this place, you know? And we find sometimes like, oh my God, ¿cómo le digo esto? <laughs> How can I tell this person, vayas a la derecha, vayas a la izquierda, camine o agarre un Uber, you know? So we have to find a way to tell these people some directions. And this is exactly what we will be doing. So I need your full participation. Uh, let's practice as much as you can. Remember, this topic no solamente, no solamente es para la platform, sino es una life-changing experience. Um, the interactuar con alguien de otro país es saber explicarle, you know, how to get to a place. So les va a ayudar wherever you are. Uh, and no, no necesariamente pensemos, ah, oh, voy a, voy a, Salir del país para utilizarlo. Actually, no, you can be here and you can use it. So let's get started. Yesterday, vimos un tema bien interesante. So yesterday, we checked prohibitions. Can you help me with some examples? ¿Se recuerdan de algunas prohibitions that you made, that you uh, created yesterday? What do you remember? 
I am not allowed to eat in my homework. Okay, I'm not allowed to eat my homework. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Hi, Renee, by the way. Hi. Good evening, thank you. Okay, that's a good example. Anybody else? Alguien más? Be allowed to uh, the drink liquor in my work. Oh, yeah, definitely. So you're not allowed to drink liquor, beers, crazy water, okay? So you're not allowed to drink anything. Thank you. Any other prohibition that you remember? Anybody else? Okay, so no worries, we are good. We will take them uh, later, right? So to get us started today, I have prepared for you like a little uh, bingo. Um, I think hemos jugado bingo before, so we are going to uh, check this game like super quick, but let's explico cómo funciona. Let me explain how it works. On your notebook, on a piece of paper, Quiero que seleccione nueve palabras. I want you to select nine words de las que están acá. From the ones that you see on the, on the right, okay, of the screen. So you have them in pink, like hardware store, shoe store, hospital, et cetera, et cetera. What I want you to do, guys, is very simple. Quiero que las escriban en estos espacios, in these spaces you have here. That means, Solo pueden escoger nueve palabras. You can choose only nine words. No van a escribir nada más. You're not going to write anything else. Solo las nueve palabras. Only the nine words you have right here. So las que quieran. Whichever, pero las que están acá, please. I'll give you two minutes. I will give you two minutes para que las puedan escribir. So you can get a notebook. Eh, o lo hacen en la computadora. Wherever you want. That's okay. So, me avisan, me dan confirmación, please give me confirmation cuando ya lo tengan listo. So, for example, quiero poner la palabra river, that is here, la quiero poner en este espacio. Solo le escribo river. I want to take lake in this middle space, solo voy a escribirla. Solo son nueve palabras, nine words. Hi Marvin, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't I haven't noticed, but I'm happy that you're here. Hi teacher. Great, great. Yeah, oh yeah, I see you now. No lo veía, that's why. Pero me alegra que se I'm super excited. You're here. Thank you, teacher. Sí. 
teacher, is like a play loteria. Yeah, vamos a jugar bingo. We are going to be playing bingo. That's why you need nine words uh, to complete the boxes. Okay, everybody. So, ¿están listos? Are you ready? Do you need more time? Yes. Yes. Okay, ready. Okay, ready. Yes. Amazing. I like it. I like it. So, let me. Oh, yeah, I see your notebook. Very good. Let me explain. Lo que tienen ahorita, what you have right now is the following. You have, for example, here, some of you have hotel, another person maybe has a park here, etc. So, yo les voy a dar la descripción. I will give you the description of the place. And if you, if, for example, the place I'm describing is the park, lo que ustedes van a venir y van a hacer is the following. You come, right, y lo cruzan. You cross out the place. Uh, if I'm describing the hotel, oh, you cross it out. And so forth. Vamos a cruzar. We are going to cross out todos los espacios, all the spaces. Cuando ya los tengan todos, when you have all of them, the nine of them, ¿qué es lo que van a decir? Bingo. So the first person who says bingo is the winner. Y eso es todo, right? So you have to say bingo. But you have to pay close attention because if se les escapa uno, ya no lo van a poder completar. So you have to cross all of them. ¿Ya tiene listo los lugares? Do you have the places ready? El Marvin? Pedrina? Yes. Are we ready? Can we start playing? Okay. So. Again, I will tell you the, no les voy a decir el lugar, but I'm going to give you the description. If you have the place, ustedes lo cruzan, right? You cross it. So, no se vale hacer trampas. So, no es de borrar y escribir, sino es un poquito de listening comprehension. You have to listen, understand, and then cross the place. Yeah? Okay, let's get started. Listen carefully, y si adivinen el lugar, me dicen. So, you tell me, or you simply cross it. Number one. Um, this place can be in a bank or this, this object can be in a supermarket or in a gas station. You go to this place with a card and you can get money from the, from that object. ATM. What is that? Shopping ATM. That is, Jocelyn? ATM. ATM, very good. It's an ATM, exactly. So if you have ATM, lo cruzan, you cross it, right? Next one. Uh, in this place, you can see a lot of water. Um, normally, they can be found in small towns or in the city, but in the city, they are very polluted. There are a lot of rocks and you can go swimming there. It, there is not like a lot, Lake. a lot of water. Lake. No, there is not a lot of water, but river. the water is flowing. River. Yes, that's river. a river. Very oh, good. Yeah. River. The river. Mm -hmm. Next, next, next. This place is normally they are big. They are expensive in El Salvador. Um, they are in the cities. I mean, they are like in the most important cities of El Salvador. Um, and they are very luxurious. People from other countries come and they stay in the places. There okay. are... Hotel. Hotel. Yes, that's a hotel. Exactly. That's a hotel. <laughs> Next. In this place, you can buy sandals, you can buy some flip-flops. Yeah, that's a shoe store. Too easy. <laughs> okay, I'll make it more difficult. Next. Um, and this is very common to see outside shopping malls. So, and they are colored yellow, but nowadays also you can find some Uber. So people with different color cars Taxi can be stand. outside. Taxi stand. Taxi stand. Taxi stand. Very good. Yes, 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 yes. Next. Um, this is a place where you can go and see galleries you can see pictures, paintings, uh, work. Fusion. 
It's a museum. Excellent. That's a museum. Good. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're getting close. Next. Um, this place. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. There is one in the okay. most important places of El Salvador. There is a major who is the most important authority in that place. City hall. Um, yes, a city hall. Very good. It's a city hall. Nice. Remember, si tienen los, ya los tienen todos, you tell me bingo and game is over. No yet? Okay. No. So let's continue. Oh my God, let's continue. In the, this place, you can find a lot of work made of wood. Everything is wood. So like tables, beds, uh, desks, chairs, but everything is I wood. Mm, no. The other? Store. Furniture store, exactly. So you can find sofas and beds, but mostly it is wood. Okay, furniture. Next, next, next. Oh my God. All right, the following place is big. They are big in El Salvador. Well, not that big, but they are big. Um, everything is green. There is a playground. Um, there is like a soccer field. Where is Shopping it? Mall. Stadium. Yeah. Stadium. No. no. Yes, a park. Okay, that's a park. That's a park. Oh my God, what are you missing, guys? What are you missing? Next Teacher, one. bingo. Oh, really? What do you have? What, what places? You can live. What, yes. what places? Can you read the places? The what place places do you a, have? Uh, no, Teacher, my, my uh, taxi station park okay. Okay. and motion. Wow, okay. Yeah, I see everything cross out. Okay, pero todos ellos, right? You have all of them, Ignacio. Yes. Le falta alguno. Are you missing one spot? Es no lo logro ver. I cannot see it from here. Pero si los tiene todos, right? You have all of them. Ah, no, le faltan, I think. Oh, son todos. Son los nueve, Ignacio. Okay. So, <laughs> nos falta. <laughs> we are missing one. We are missing one. <laughs> No, no, Walter. Son todos, son los nueve. Okay, wait, wait, wait then. Okay, okay, okay. So you have more opportunities, guys. Okay, next. Um, in El Salvador, there are, I don't know, maybe three or four of these in different areas of El Salvador. There is water, but the water is not in movement. So it stays in one place. Uh, you can go and you can swim, and the water is really peaceful. Uh, there is one, I think, in Santa Ana. There is another in... Lake. Yeah, lake. that's a lake. Lake. That's a lake, yes. Oh, my God. No. Nobody's finished yet? Okay, okay, okay. So, and I have the last. This is a financial institution. So, you can uh, ask for money, Bank. give money, get money. Bank. <laughs> bank. bank, exactly. Bank. That's a bank. Nobody's done yet. No, no, terminado. Nobody's done. No. Oh, oh my God. Okay, next. Um, uno, uno. <laughs> I know. Okay, this is a very important place because there are a lot of uh, sick people. There are a lot hospital. of patients. Hospital. Yes. Hospital. Yes. yes. This year, oh, hospital. Sí. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. I can see that now. Okay. Yes, Ignacio's dog. Very good. What about the rest? What are you missing? ¿Qué les, qué les faltó? What supermarket. Was supermarket. Supermarket. Wow. Shopping. Supermarket. Shopping mall. Eh, Anita, yes. ¿qué le hizo yes. falta? Shopping mall. Shopping mall, too. Wow. Yeah, that was a little bit of but luck okay but good excellent job everybody very good listening comprehension too now today we are going to be talking about these places but vamos a hablar un poquito de direcciones as well we have a little conversation so we can start getting vocabulary i need to volunteers okay me quiero ayudar a leer who wants to read my teacher amazing thank you mother so you can help me read mary and Carlos, can you please help us read Walter, the first person? Okay, so uh, Carlos, when you are uh, ready. I start. 
Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some software. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Safety. Safety. Yes, safety. Safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear, wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get not to get close to red areas. Amazing. Thank you very much. So here we have instructions, some health uh, safety instructions, okay, that we are going to take into account. Number one, que es lo que ellos dicen? Walk between the yellow lines, right? Mm -hmm. Number two, por ahí decía un helmet, right? Wear a helmet. What is the meaning of helmet? Or in your companies, do you need a helmet? So when you ride a motorcycle, you have to wear a helmet, right? If you are an engineer, an architect, and you go to the building, you have to wear a helmet or like a, casco. yeah. Casco. Un casco de protección, exactly. So that is a helmet. So the person says, wear a helmet all the time, Walk between the lines and don't forget the ear plug. What is ear plug? Exactly. Like, uh -huh. like, en qué lugar utilizarían ear plugs? En los talleres. Okay, maybe in a workshop at the, um, at the airport. So it sounds like at the airport in... Um, in a workshop or lugares que sean muy ruidosos, right? Places that are very, very nice. Very nice. Sure. <clears throat> For example, the operator of the machine, the drilling machine, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. use the these uh, air plugs. Is is um EPP? It is um equipo de protección personal. Yeah, also I have seen people from MOP, right? There are some people from the uh, Ministry of Obras Publicas who wear also earplugs and helmet. So let's take a look at a couple of things here. Mm, let me erase it. Give me one second. Okay, and there we go. So uh, they are talking about some safety rules, pero también hablan de algunas instrucciones or places. Um, so first, Vamos a, a hacer el siguiente ejercicio. This is in your material. Probablemente acá no lo vean tan bien. Probably it's not very, very clear. But this is in your material para que lo puedan tener un poco más, um, you know, con, con better visibility. Let's call it that way. So, what I want you to focus is on the following. Tenemos un par de lugares. We have a couple of places. But antes de hacer este ejercicio, quiero que recordemos some vocabulary that, that is very important. For example, tenemos un par de prepositions, right? Um, we have in, yeah? So remember that in is like adentro de algo, so in. Also, we have on, que es sobre una superficie, so in and on, right? The following is under, so debajo de algo. We have in front of, like in my case, I am in front of the computer, so estoy en frente de, I'm in front of the computer, or uh, estoy en frente de la pared, I'm in front of the wall, right? I have opposite. So opposite es como del otro lado. Sometimes we can use it like cuando hay una calle divisoria or simplemente cuando están um, uno en frente del otro. So we can also use opposite. We have next to, so next to is exactly this, a la par. So for example, the door is next to me. Tengo la pared a la par. I mean, the door, la puerta. What is next to you? ¿Qué tienen a la par, guys? I have a chair. Oh, you got a chair. Okay. O quizás la pared, the wall. The wall. Okay. So the wall, maybe. In my case, it's the door um, that is next to. Then we have behind. So behind me, I have English corporativo. <laughs> okay. So that is behind, atrás, right? Um, for In example. My in yeah. my case, the windows. 
Okay, the window. Well, look window also, two. I see the window, right? Yeah. Okay, Carlos, window two. Yes. Okay, okay, cool. Cool. Marvin, what is behind you? ¿Qué tiene atrás, Marvin? What is behind you? Atrás o detrás? I don't know. I don't know in Spanish. What is the atrás, big word? Uh, atrás. Refrigerator. Oh, okay. The refrigerator. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that is exactly behind. And then we have the other one that is between, en medio de, yeah? So tiene que haber algo acá, a, a mi derecha, y algo a mi izquierda. To say or to use between. Um, in between se refiere al punto medio, right? So, for example, in my screen right now, tengo algunos que están eh, between, if I put it that way. So, I am between Mabel and between Carlos, en mi pantalla, right? So, eso es como el punto medio. That is my reference. I want you to take this into account porque lo vamos a usar. So, guys, eh, vamos a repetirlos. Repeat with me, please. In. In. On. Um, under, 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 in front of, in front of, 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 in front of, in front of, la OF se pronuncia of, in front of, in front of, opposite, opposite, next to, next to, okay, behind, Behind. Behind. Dos pronunciaciones. La segunda es behind. 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 La que ustedes gusten. Between. 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 Very good. Very good. So we have others. For example, tenemos esta que es on the corner. So let's repeat it. On the corner. On the corner. What is the meaning of on the corner? Esquina. Exacto, en la esquina de algo, en la esquina de la calle, de la intersección, that's on the corner. And then we have this other two, so on the left and on, on the, the right. right. On the Yo estoy eh, de posición diferente, give me one second, voy a cambiar como me ven, um, no, creo que no. Hold on, hold on. Okay. No sé si va a funcionar, because I'm not sure the way you see me, pero yo soy derecha, right? So this is my right, and this is my left. So right and left. So, a la derecha is on the right, y a la izquierda on the left. Are we good? So right and left. A la derecha, on the right. A la izquierda, on the left. For example, in El Salvador, eh, se maneja on the left. But in, in other countries, like England, tiene que manejar del otro lado. So you ha have to be on the left. I mean, on the right to, to drive, right? So we have right, left. Two different sides. Okay. Now, guys, to, to use these, let me show you the following the previous exercise, so we can have a little bit of comprehension here. So, um, ayúdenme a dónde están. Help me, solamente locate them and tell me a dónde es que están. No como llegar ahí todavía, no. <laughs> but solamente dónde están localizados, okay? Vamos a utilizar next to, in front of, podemos usar behind, we can just in, on, etc. For example, tenemos acá las letras that represent each of the places. This is letter A, so that is production area. Letter B, reception, is right here. Letter C, the planning area, is right here. So tenemos la letra que va indicando cada lugar. So guys, uh, where is, excuse me, where is the reception area? Díganme solo lugares de referencia. Next to, uh, in front of, between, so in where is the reception? Area. Brian? In front of a uh, production area. In front of the production area. Very good, exactly. De hecho, hay una, una calle acá. There is, hay como una puerta. Yeah, so it is in front of the production area. 
What about the restrooms? Alguien logra ver the restrooms? Next to the parking. The restrooms. Next uh, to the reception. The parking is here y los baños están por acá. Si no me equivoco es la letra G, right? This is letter G. Yeah. Next so, to the reception. Next to the reception. Okay, okay. What about the quality control area? What is the quality control area? I am from a planning area. In front of the planning area, planning area is C. Ok, o también, si nos fijamos, hay como una, eh, una pared totalmente cerrada. También podríamos utilizar atrás, right? So we can also use behind. So that behind. one is just fine. Exactly, that would be just fine. So, veamos un par de palabritas that we are going to use ahora para dar indicaciones cómo llegar hasta ese lugar. This topic is very interesting, as I said before, porque nos ayuda en cuestiones reales. Real oh. stuff. For example, here we have uh, go straight. Everybody, repitamos straight. 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 Okay, go straight. Go what is straight. the meaning of go straight? ¿Cuándo lo voy a utilizar? When can I use it? Go straight. Exactly. Vaya ser recto. Siga adelante. Siga hasta calle, right? So go straight. Vaya ser recto, pretty much. That's the one. Then, si le quiero decir a alguien doble a la derecha, what can I say? Go left. Right. A la derecha. Uh, right. All right. right. Yes. Es ahora la otra derecha. Right. So turn yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. A la derecha. La okay. otra derecha. Y a la izquierda. Turn. Es la tercera izquierda. <laughs> la tercera izquierda. Turn left. Exactly. Yes. Now, I want to tell you. Camina por... Eh, Digamos en tiempo, cinco minutos. So, walk five minutes, walk ten minutes, pero también lo puedo hacer por metros. Walk ten meters, walk Block. twenty meters. Block. Yeah. Block. Oh, exactly. Go ahead, uh, to block. Exactly. Nosotros utilizamos block para cada, eh, como cada cuadra, one. digamos. So, walk one block, walk two blocks to make it easier. Or... En este caso, tenemos acá un ejemplo que es through. Guys, repitamos esta palabra. Through. 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 No, but no necesariamente que haya entrado, que haya pasado. Menos, menos, tampoco. Okay. Okay. Yes. Hay un, okay, so hay un gran, hay un gran rato lo que dice drive through, que es como el autoservicio. So through yes. es como a través, right? Um, like in this case, the person says walk through the production area because the production area is todo esto. Entonces usted tiene que venir de un lado y cruzarlo completamente. So that is walk through, como cruce. Like when you go to San Salvador y le dice a alguien, okay, para llegar al lugar, debe de cruzarse todo San Salvador. So that is walk through, right? So those are the ones. Go straight, vaya este recto, turn left, cruza a la izquierda, turn right, a la derecha, walk uh, one block, walk 10 meters, walk five minutes, and also walk through, camine o cruce a través de este lugar. So walk through this place. ¿Estamos bien? Are we good? Uh, Questions? Teacher. Yes? Um, uh, uh, bueno, alcaldía se dice homes. Homes, homes, homes. Ah, se me ha olvidado el nombre de la, de la alcaldía. Eh, tiene que ser eh, alcaldía, Wall Strong, Center, uh, Star eh, Pega. Como, como, como querés decir que vas, te va a cruzar todo el centro y llegar hasta, hasta, hasta la Vega, por decirlo así, podría utilizarse Wall Strong. 
True. 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 Como una U. Ajá, exactly. Ah, sí. Por ejemplo, digamos que si conoce un poquito de la parte de San Salvador, creo que lo cruza, ¿verdad? Todo el mercado. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, so walk through the market and, and yeah, you get to the... No sé a dónde a dónde tiene que llegar, but that is what La through. Vega, así se llama la colonia. Bueno, el paso de niveles es la Vega. Va para San Jacinto. Antes, antes de San Jacinto. Walk through Avenida España. Walk through Avenida España. Ah, oh, yes, está hablando también. de la zona ahí abajo, right? Sí. Oh, okay. I don't know too much that area, but guys, I am pretty sure that you know better than I do. Así que nos van a ayudar con eso. Okay, no worries. So, one more time. Ya vimos un poquito de proposiciones. Ya, to remember this topic. Ahora vamos con este tema bien interesante. <laughs> Give directions. Antes de asustarlos con esto, revisemos cómo dar direcciones. Okay. Uh, guys, me logran ver. Eh, me estoy quebrando. Yes, de por, repente momentos, se me, por momentos. Es que se me apagaron todas las cámaras, entonces no sí, sé si no es la, mi... No la veía. No, ajá, no sé si es mi internet. Que, déjame un segundito. Oye, oh, yeah, ahora sí ya veo a Ricardo. Ya, yeah, es, que, es que de repente se me apagaron todas sus cámaras. So I was like, hey, what happened? Okay. Aquí en la colonia presidencial así es. <risa> Uh, no, I think it's my internet, so it's breaking. Yes, es por la chapa que tengo aquí. No, pero solo a usted lo veo, no veo lo demás. I don't see the rest. Ah, bueno, pues no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why. Solo veo Richard. I don't see I the other. Es por la chapa. <laughs> la recepción de la señal. <laughs> pero mire qué buena. <laughs> Porque si yeah, no ver yeah. su cámara. Yeah. I don't see the others. Okay. Ok, bueno, ya voy a intentar conectarme directamente, ya, porque de repente se me perdió Guadalupe, Pedrina, solo veo a Ignacio, I see Brenda, but I don't see the rest. Ok, no, ya, ya, vi, no, ya me están cargando los demás, no, it's ok. Ok, guys, so, let's take a look at this topic. Um, so, veamos las que tenemos acá. The first one is turn left, ya, yeah? cruce la izquierda, turn left. El segundo, ¿cómo puedo expresar la segunda? How can I express that? Go ahead, go ahead. Good, I like it. Go ahead. Go straight. Go straight, excellent. Straight. Go straight on. Go alone, okay. Eh, go ahead. Simplemente go straight. Oh, una que es bien divertida que es guacalón. <laughs> ok, como un guacalón. Yes, yeah, so guacalón. Que es también camina recto, right? The other one. ¿Cuál sería la siguiente? What is the next one? Turn right. Turn right. Ok, turn right. Very good. Doble a la derecha, right? And the other one. Esa es bien útil. This is very useful porque me evito decir como pedacito, pedacito. Y simplemente tengo esta en I say, una calle, dos calles. Entonces, take the second turning or take the second street y digo a la izquierda o a la derecha. So, if you check, it's one street, two streets, take the second street on the right. Y esto es todo. That would be it, right? Me hace más fácil la vida. It complicates my life less, you know? Estamos bien hasta acá. Pueden tomarle picture, le pueden tomar nota, so you can, you know, get them because ya lo vamos a practicar. We will practice this in a little bit. Let me move to the other. Tenemos un par de expresiones más. Um, for example, uh, go straight. Decíamos que straight es como recto. So go straight on the roundabout. ¿Qué es un roundabout? Veamos el dibujito. Take a look at the, at the picture. And tell me what's a roundabout. Redondel. Exactly. Can you tell me examples? ¿Me pueden dar un par de ejemplos de roundabout? Luceiros, eh, uh, Macorero. Roundabout, Naciones Unidas. 
Okay. Yes, Puente Luminoso. Oh, se, yeah, that's true. Se que los buenos son eh, Richard, eh, Brian, René. Oh, Pero Martin. De los, los, de los ciegos. These guys know a lot about the streets. I think Ignacio as well. <laughs> yeah. Adam Bowman. El, el redondel? The, the roundabout? Adam Powell. Where is that? For the College García Flamenco. García Flamenco. Yes, yes. How is it called the Redondel? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think it's my internet. Can you write it? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no logro identificar el, el nombre. I cannot identify the, the name. It's Baden Powell. Baden Powell. Esa, sí, es, esta zona de la calle oh, Alaska. Really? Así se llama. La that's avenida, the name. La avenida Alaska. Oh, that's... Oh, es conocido como el redondel de los Boy Scouts. Ah, los Boy Scouts. Oh, yes, yes. Wow, ok. Yeah, because for me that was el redondel del García. <laughs> ok. Uh <-huh. laughs> Interesting. Baden Howell. Ok. El árbol de la paz. I, oh, el árbol de la paz, exactly. So el those are like... Monumento de la Constitución, que es conocido como la Chulona. La Chulona. También yeah. el, el, el Monumento de la Paz, que está yendo para el aeropuerto. Ahí en el Negro. El de yeah. la 75 y San Antonio. Also, also. No sé cómo se llama. By the way, I have a question. Because you oh, have oh, a, a Constitución, but after Constitución, on your way up, there is another, it's not a roundabout. El 75 y San Antonio Abade, ese, el que está arriba. Mm. Yeah, exactly. That, that was my question. ¿Cómo se llama? What is the name? Because there is like a sculptured, the, like a boy. No es un redondel, but it has a name. But people call it Chuloncito. But what is the name? I don't remember. Mm. Because you, you have like El Comsti, right? No, 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 Roble. no, 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 Nicaragua is the one that is near the gas station, I think. Yes, in Cup, yes, Cup right? No, but exactamente el que está antes. <laughs> the one that is before getting to that one. Uh -huh. Ahí en Mocha Salta. <laughs> oh, really? I don't remember the number, sí. Oh, okay, but, but that is the one. That is the one. Es el Sandino que está para arriba. Sandino creo que se llama o Sandino. No recuerdo. Ya voy a buscar en Google. Marvin no está con las direcciones. No sé si está acá. No, Marvin is not here. We need him. Marvin here. I be here. I be here. Hey, yeah, I heard Marvin already. Marvin, I can hear. Yes, I be here. Oh, there he is. What Marvin, we have a big question. Teacher, I, uh, I don't understand. The, I don't oh. know what you're <laughs> No, Marvin, we, we are talking about places and directions. So I was asking these guys about like a little roundabout, como un redondel, like a little roundabout, but the one that is after the Constitution. So you have Constitution, then you go on the way up. No sé qué número es esa calle, I don't know them. 75. But what is it? 75 y San Antonio okay. Val. So the 25th. So then the 25th of San Antonio Val, and then you get to a roundabout. But I don't know Mateo. the name. Ignacio says that is called El Chuloncito. I know it too as El no, Chuloncito. No, no, Lopez Dawinson se llama. Oh, ah, Dawinson. Dawinson. Lopez Dawinson. Okay, I didn't know. I call it El Chulón, but I don't know. Okay, so now Ignacio, we know it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the information. Okay, so that is a roundabout. Ya yeah, es un redondel. The other word that we have, well, podemos siempre decir turn left or turn right. Doble a la izquierda o a la derecha, right? Um, also, we have the other one that is go past. So 
So go past what is your idea? What do you think about when you listen to this word, go past? Go past. So that's more like vayase pasando, right? O pase de este lugar. So imagine that you want to get to Mercado Las Pulgas, so you go past, I don't know, el Ministerio de Hacienda, so uh, the treasure minister. So go past, como vayas, pase después de este lugar, right? Um, we have the other one that is the traffic light. So, siempre que veamos un semáforo, that is called a traffic light. And of course, you can use it as reference. Turn left or turn right at the traffic lights. ¿Estamos bien? Are we good, guys? Are we fine? Any question on vocabulary? So, I will take the silence as a no. <laughs> But then, then we have the most important part. Oh my God, vamos a practicar entonces. Let's go ahead and let's practice this important topic that is giving directions. Vamos a, vamos a utilizar el mapa. We are going to use this map number one as reference because eh, para que todos estemos, you know, como en sync, we can check it out. And later, I will ask you to draw your own maps. So we have here some street. For example, Julia's Street, you have a Church Road, you have Mark's Avenue. También podemos utilizar los nombres de las, de las calles. Or um, simply, you know, we give places as reference. So first, I'm going to throw, let me see if I can, okay, I'm going to be, Okay, I'm going, I don't know. I'm going to be at the museum. Okay, I'm right here. I'm at the museum, okay. And first, necesito que me ayuden con places de referencia. I need your help with reference uh, for these places. And I want you to help me with the following. No me van a decir cómo llegar ahorita, sino solamente a dónde está, right? Jim. So, number one, where is, no, muy cerca. <laughs> the supermarket, okay. So. Quiero que me lo den, me den la descripción lo más eh, especificada que se pueda. Todo lo que está alrededor. Every place that you can. Teacher. You know, tell me. Yes. Eh, museo está mal escrito. Uh, yeah, you are right. Sorry yeah. about that. Sorry. Ya lo voy a corregir que lo hice súper rápido. Ok. Yes. You are right. Thank you for that. I'm going to correct it in a second. Museum stay Star Hardware. From Star Hardware. The hardware store? Okay, okay, hardware store. Oh, wait. The wait. supermarket behind the ATM uh, in front of the Mama Chu restaurant. In front of Give me one second. Oh, Brian, is it me? O lo escucho ronquito. Uh, no, 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 no. I am sick, pero ya, ya casi ya. Oh, OK. Yeah, de repente yeah, escuché su voz hace. como bien, bien de, de locutor. Bien de, <laughs> bien de locutor. Yeah. <laughs> And so, I was, I, yeah, I don't know. De repente la voz se escuchó solo. You know, no, what happened is that normally, <laughs> eh, como las voces a uno se le quedan. So I heard your voice and I recognized your voice. But suddenly la escuché como ronquita. No, 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 no. So I was like, it sounds different. No, no, no. Okay. Ya voy a poner la mano. Solo te voy a lavar y, y pongo. Espero se recupere pronto. Oh, you're doing Thanks. the laundry. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. So I have, se los he escrito en el chat. I have written them in the chat. The first one says, where is the supermarket? The second one says, where is Tigo, right? No como llegar again, solo díganme qué lugares están ahí cerquita, right? Uh, where is the bank? And I got just one more. Where is um, ATM to make it easier? Okay, so I will give you like four minutes, five minutes, para que intentemos describir. 
so, no como llegar, sino que es lo que está más cerca. Lugares de referencia that you can give me of, about these places. Normally, we, if, si alguien nos pregunta, oh, where is Citibank? So le decimos, right, oh, okay, estás bien cerca de la UCA, um, está como a, a dos metros de este otro lugar, o está atrás de este otro lugar. So we give reference. This is what I want you to do. I'll give you five minutes for that. One more minute, me indican si necesitan más tiempo, please. Only six uh, sentences, o only six, mm. only six. Yeah, son cuatro lugares, there are four places, but si hay incluido más, it's perfect. 
Daughter is fine. That's good. Okay, guys, so help me with the first. Where is the supermarket? Any reference you can give me about the supermarket? Behind uh, the ATM? Um, oh, you have the one for the ATM. Okay, no worries. Help me with the ATM. So where is that? O no sé si le entendí mal. So, <laughs> tell me. Está atrás del ATM. Oh, behind the ATM. Behind, okay. Uh -huh. Got it, got it. Okay, so the supermarket is behind the ATM. All right. Mm -hmm. Otra referencia que me pueden dar. Is there another reference? About the supermarket. Or... Yeah, for the supermarket. Okay, uh, in my case, supermarket is in um is on the corner to march avenue and marina's drive ah very nice it is on the corner exactly i like it okay so the supermarket is behind the atm or the supermarket is on the corner of march avenue and marina's drive perfect i like it anybody else Alguien más tiene una diferente? Supermarket is next to ATM. The supermarket is is next to ATM in front uh, of Mama Shoe's restaurant. Oh, okay. I like it. So it is next to the ATM, but it is across from or opposite Mama Shoe's restaurant. Okay. Very good. Uh, uh, Marvin, I think you have another one. Uh, go past the Market Avenue. Um, go past Marks Avenue. Okay, very good. There we go. What about Tigo? <laughs> Guys, where is Tigo? Tigo is behind Hanwar store next to Very door. good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Anybody Hugo, else? Hugo is, is in the right, uh, Prado. Okay, it is on the right. It is on Prado's right. Okay, yes. Alguien más? Anybody else? Teacher, Hugo is on the corner uh, between the Prado and hardware store. Okay, so it is... Mm -mm. And the hardware store. Oh, between Prado and the hardware store, and it is on the corner, you said. Okay, that works. Um, también podríamos ponerla como que está al final de la calle. So, Tigo is at the end of the street. Like, the three of them are just perfect. Um, what about the bank? Where is the bank? Anybody else? Next yeah. to the bank? Next to the? Ah, oh, no, ¿cuál dijo, perdón? The bank, el banco. The bank is from ATM. Okay, so it is across from the ATM, I think you said. Uh, Alex? 
eso, ese apartamento de comunidad. Ok, ¿en eh, Permítame un segundito, yo sé que creo que alguien me dejó el micrófono abierto. Deme un segundo. Ya está seca. Ok, tell me, I'm sorry. You're mute. <laughs> You're mute, Jocelyn. Okay. But the bank is next to stop. Okay, it is, uh -huh. the bank, the bank between and in front to the ATM. No, it is in front of the ATM. Okay, okay. I like it. You mentioned like three places. Okay, Pedrina, do you have something different? Teacher, sí. And the bank, to left, show a shop. Okay, it is on the left of the shoe shop. Okay. Eh, espérate, pues me falta también la otra parte. Luego, espérame. No creo. Yes, it is on the left. Luego, eh, in park, we sting in the bank. Okay, so the bank, it is on the left of the shoe shop. Y que me mencionó del parque, can you say it again, please? Ah, que estaba, que el, el bank estaba como aquí arriba del park. Oh, ok. Uh, como, como que el parque está atrás, podría ser. Atrás, behind. sí, 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 como que está atrás. Oh, the park sí, is sí. behind. Uh -huh. Ajá, ajá. Got it, got it. So, behind or behind, ambas están bien. Both are good. Sí. Ok, sí. amazing. Thank you. Yes, Ignacio. My case, the, the bank is on the Marinas Drive. Um, next to the park. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So it is on Marina's Drive next to the park. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, I like it. This is the position, this is the reference of these places. Now let's move ahead. Y quiero que me den la dirección. <laughs> Ahora sí quiero que me digan cómo llegar. I want you to help me get to these places. Question one, como pregunto, como pido ayuda. So I am going to use this one that is, excuse me, how can I get to, all right? So excuse me, um, y le dejé por ahí un corazoncito. <laughs> okay, so that indicates, that tells me a donde yo estoy. So I am at the museum, okay, and I need to move. So excuse me, how can I get to Prado? All right. Y ahora voy a utilizar este vocabulario que acabamos de ver. That is, for example, turn left, turn right. So we already checked this. Lo tienen acá en su material. Go straight, turn left, turn right, walk 10 meters, walk through the production area. También tenemos las preposiciones que nos van a ayudar. And also we have these other ones that are going to help us a lot. Uh, for example, Go straight at the roundabout, turn left, go past. Ya váyase pasando de este lugar o paso por este lugar. So, I need, ahora sí necesito las direcciones. <laughs> so, tengo estos lugares, I got these places, los mismos, you know, supermarket, I got the ATM, I got the bank, I got Tigo. So, I need to get to these places. Excuse me, how can I get to these four places, all right? So, hagámoslo contigo. I am at the museum. So, excuse me, how can I get to Tigo? Or Prado. No, Prado está más fácil. So, how can I get to Prado? ¿De Prado para dónde? ¿De Prado, no, estoy, de en el, Prado? estoy en el corazoncito. I am at the museum. ¿Dónde está? Oh. I am, I am here in the green one. I am at the museum. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. I'm at the museum. Uh, and I want to go to Prado. So, en otras ah. palabras, quiero hacer esto. In other words, no sé por dónde me va a llevar, but this is what I want you to help me with. So, es lo que quiero hacer. Okay. Okay, uh, museum, museum star. Uh, 
Julia's still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so, yeah, normalmente so, le, le, um, le tenemos que dar instrucciones, right? Entonces, usted me puede decir como camine, uh -huh. vaya a ser recto, eh, yes. cruce. So, es, es bien importante que utilicemos uh -huh. those words para indicar. Yes, uh -huh. eh, sobre es am. Um, Uh -huh. Podríamos yes, decirle como camine. Ah, o que vaya este por. Go ahead, uh, Julian's. Julian está ahí. Uh, street, red. that is a street. Esa es mi calle. Yes, Turle. Es Turle. Ok, ok, ok. Hold on, hold on just a second. Hold on just a second. Uh, guys, levantenme la mano derecha. <laughs> ¿Cómo se llama? How do you Teacher, call it? Mira, aquí right. sale diferente. <laughs> es que yo estoy al revés. Ok, no, okay but, well, su mano derecha, su mano uh, derecha uh, to, es right. To, to right, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, su uh, mano izquierda es left, ajá. Es, eh, go ahead, uh, one block. Uh, ok. Go ahead, uh, Estar a uh, Prado. Okay. Estoy todo, Prado. Eh, todo, digamos que todos estos pedacitos de you say, eh, los que ustedes ven por acá, por ejemplo, el Jimmy el Museum, esto es como un bloque, right? Toda esta yes. parte de, de Bank en Shoe Shop, todo esto es un bloque. So they are oh, kind bloque. of blocks. Eh, thank you, Richard. That was a very nice attempt. Very good try. Eh, Carlos, yo creo que tenía también like something there. So, Carlos. Yes, I think uh, walk, go along, uh, crossing the Tigo corner, and go and turn uh, left to Prado. Okay, okay. Y ahí me puede utilizar las referencias que acabamos de ver. So like, Prado is next to Tigo, right? Or go past Tigo, right? So, me sirven las referencias para eso, like, to be very specific. So, or Prado is in front of, or opposite the candy store. So, very good job. That, that sounds really, really nice. Okay. Guys, vamos a ir a los grupos por un par de minutitos solo para terminar con el resto de ellos. Please, um, en, el, en el chat les escribí solo cuatro. So, that was supermarket, ATM, bank. En Tigo, pero ustedes cámbienlo, you know, cambien lugares de referencia, practice as much as you can, y cuando regresemos vamos a preguntarles a random. So, get ready for this. Um, remember, la forma más fácil de eh, aprender a dar direcciones es practicando, así que one of you está perdido y el otro va a las direcciones, right? That would be wonderful. So, give me one second. Allow me to send you the invitations. So you can go and practice, and there we go. Okay, tenemos like five minutes, five, seven minutes. Le pueden tomar captura. You can take a picture of this, and let's go and practice, guys. Let's go, go, go.
Okay, everybody. So thanks a lot for coming back. Um, I know that you were practicing a lot this part of giving instructions. So I would like to listen to what you have, you know, practiced as well. Uh, we have some places here. So you were like giving directions about some of these places. And I would like to know if I have any volunteer. Alguien le gustaría participar? Would anybody like to participate? No va a ser difícil, I promise. <laughs> so you will just give us directions. Ignacio? Teacher, in my, in my group, the, okay. uh, we are uh, create uh, our, our block in the center was uh, Metro Centro. Okay. Oh, and, so you uh, created like an, an imaginary map. Yes, in the imaginary map. And uh, my classmate, mm -hmm. um, Pedrina mm -hmm. and Rene, mm -hmm. uh, to practice the, the, the if uh, take a direction in, and um, I asked to Rene. Okay. You, excuse me, Rene. How can I get to Sertracen if we are on the Metro Centro on the Boulevard de, de los Héroes? Oh, okay. Sorry, can you repeat the, the question, please? Because it's, I couldn't hear you. Okay, okay Rene. Um, excuse me, Rene. How can I get to Sertracen? If we are on the Metro Centro, the Boulevard de los Héroes, can, you, can walk, you help me? Yes, walk uh, walk one block on the on the right. Then, uh, then uh, take the the Ipodro Avenue. I don't remember the street Ipodromo. It, it, street Ipodromo. And walk uh, three, three, three block. Three block. You can, then you will see a redondel. Rondable. Rondable. Yes. Is, uh, the cent the central center is in front of the Ronda Mexican Rondable. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Rene. Yeah. Wow, that was nice. Okay. That was really nice because it's like you are uh, using like an imaginary map. So, wow, that was good. Okay, what about with, with Anita? Because I think you were with Delmi, right? Um, are you familiar with Metro Centro San Salvador, Anita? Uh, no, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. So. I don't. Uh, you don't come, you, oh, you don't know San Salvador. Okay, um, no, it, oh. it's perfect, it's okay, not a problem. Actually, the next activity that we are going to be doing is the following. What I want you to do, guys, is the next. Vamos a hablar un poquito de la zona donde trabajan or the, like lo que hay alrededor, the area around. And for this, I'm going to give you exactly two minutes and quiero que agarren una paginita. I want you to get a piece of paper. Quiero que agarren un lápiz, un lapicero, whatever you have at hand. Y quiero que lo dibujen. I want you to draw la zona donde trabajan, the area where you work, y qué es lo que hay alrededor. No tiene que ser con colores or, first, you know, like squares and things like those, sino um, cómo le dirían a alguien cómo llegar hasta ese lugar, right? Um, si no quieren hablar de su trabajo, it's fine. Háganlo de cualquier otro lugar. It can be, for example, Metro Centro, un lugar que la mayoría conozca, or El Salvador del Mundo, you know, la, like the terminal and things like those. So, tienen dos minutitos, escojan un lugar y dibujen qué es lo que hay alrededor, right? Places, uh, stores, uh, streets, everything, factories, todo lo que puedan, as many things as you can. Cuando ya tengan, eh, when you have that ready, um, please tomen una captura y lo mandan al grupo de WhatsApp. Send it to the WhatsApp group o me lo envían a mí. Like right now. <laughs> Tienen tres minutitos solamente. You got three minutes. Three minutes. <coughs>
parler. Mmh. Voilà. C'est toi, dernier A ver, mijito. Ay, sí, se casó, se va a morir. ¿Quién? La hija. ¿Ah? Se murió. No, todavía no. Se casó. ¿Quién? ¿Se casó con quién? Con Karen. Con Karen. Sorry, Pedrita. Le, le voy a hacer los uh, uh, silent. <laughs> I'm going to mute your microphone porque vamos a querer saber el, el chisme, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, one more minute. Si ya tiene su mapita, you know, algo bastante sencillo, please eh, manden la foto. So send the picture. Okay, everybody, so please start uh, sharing your pictures. They don't have to like be perfect with colors or anything. 
sino algo que podamos identificar los lugares, that would be great. Y nos van a hablar ustedes de esos lugares, right? Like how to get there, uh, where some places are located, and so forth. So, compartanlos, share them, please. Thank you so much, Ignacio. I already see yours. Hey, that's very good. <laughs> okay. I think that's very clear. Oh, is that the place where you work? No, near to my home. Oh, okay. Uh, is it okay if I present it? Because it is your address, so... I don't know. Can I present it? Yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, because I can see the roundabout, I see Romero, I see Polideportivo. So, is it okay? Lo puedo presentar? Can I, can I project it? Yeah, sí, sí, sí. Okay, okay. You, you, you can, you can do. All right, thank you. Okay, guys, I'm waiting for yours. So I'm going to present uh, first Ignatius. I, I really like it, and it's very detailed. So, do, 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 do. give me just a second here. Let me present it. So you, you can also help us and talk a little bit about this place. Um, just to give you some, some info, guys, eh, para mañana vamos a preparar, like, una descripción super cortita de esto mismo que estamos haciendo. But for tomorrow, I want you to prepare something like a uh, more detailed description. Puede ser de donde trabajan, donde viven, you know, whatever you have there. So let me present the screen. And um, I like it because it's like a real map. Okay, there you go. So guys, uh, here we have Ignacio's uh, map. Okay, so I can see the, oh, I can see the picture of the soccer field. I think it is a soccer field. Okay, so if, um, Wall Street, oh, uh, we are talking about soya. Is this soya pango? Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can make this. Okay, so imagine guys that we are, uh, for example, okay, tell us a little bit about these places. Uh, so, because you know the area Ignacio. So, for example, if I am in a car and if I am over the Golden City, right? So, estoy sobre uh, la calle de oro, if I'm over the Golden City, and uh, I want to, what are the places? So, ¿a dónde puedo ir acá? What are the places that we have? So, we have Super Selectos, we have B3, Polideportivo, eh, the church. ¿Qué más lugares hay cerca? What other places are there? Ah, oh, Unicentro. Okay. So, yeah, I can see Unicentro Uni Soya Pango too. Any other? Uh, thank you. Wow, Sonia. Okay. Wow, I, I will present yours later. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, so I'm over I'm over to Nakatepeque Street and I want to go to Unicentro Soyapango. Well, I'm not sure si hay otros lugares acá, si hay anything else, but let's say that I'm walking, right? So como puedo llegar? How can I get there? Where is that? I'm going to be here. Teacher, for example, for me, uh, mm -hmm. Super Selectos is on behind to Vidri. And uh, you you can go in the Super Selectos, Mega Super Selectos, if take the uh, 
to Nakatepeque Street in um, turn to to right on the Ciudadela Street. Okay. And then to um, sorry, but to block it's okay. and do you can okay, sorry. It's all it's all for me. Oh you're doing fine. You're doing a good job. No, that's okay. So but but I think uh, a donde nos, nos estaba dirigiendo. Where were you taking us? Eh, super selectos. Oh, In, okay. So, oh, got it, got it. So, you were here, like over to Nakatepec Street. Then you say turn right, you said, and eh, super selectos is behind the tree. I got it. No, that was really good. That was good, actually. So, what if guys, ayúdenme con esta. Help me in in a map. I am in the in the start. Okay, estoy en la estrellita, and I want to get to Unicentro Soyapango. I don't know Soyapango that much, so help me with this, please. How can I get to Unicentro? Unicentro, right? Yeah, it's a Unicentro. So how can I get to Unicentro, guys? English, you know, you, you know Soyapango. She knows better than us, but no sé si um, Ingrid was having some problems with the internet. Ingrid, ¿está con nosotros? Are you with us? I think she was not. No la pude escuchar antes. Guys, ¿alguien más vive en Soyapango? Who else lives in Soya? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Oh, no, hombre, si tenemos acá donde. <laughs> okay, so Carlos, help us. Uh, where you need to go? I want to go to the Unicentro. Ah, okay. Uh, you are in Tonacatepec uh, Street. I am in the in, I am in that street. Uh huh, in Tonacatepec Street. Okay. Uh, go along to the end of Tonacatepec Street and. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice darle vuelta a Redondel? Uh, guys, ¿cómo se dice? Bueno, no sé si sería darle vuelta o cruzárselo. No sé, es como no es cruzarse, no es cruzárselo, sino que... No sé, a través de Redondel. Ok, so, um, antes veíamos una palabra que era go through. Que es como un desvío, dice. Ok. Redondel, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, guys, ¿cómo se dice redondel? How do you say that? Roundabout. So, a roundabout. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I go through the roundabout. Oh, like, yo lo cruzo. I go the through the roundabout. About and uh, through a uh, right. To okay, so it is on the right. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, because I don't know if there is something else here. But that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I like this map. You have a lot of places right here. I like it a lot. Uh, also, Mabel sent me another map that we are going to use later. We are going to be using it tomorrow. Guys, uh, please, for tomorrow, Termina sus mapas, eh, finish your maps up, all right? Y los envían al grupo de WhatsApp. You can send it to the WhatsApp group. I think that's faster. Y los vamos a utilizar mañana. We will be using that tomorrow para hablar de la dirección de su trabajo, para hablar de la dirección de sus casas. O sea, la inventan, no es necesario que la digan, you know. You can, of course, make it up, okay? And uh, so we can practice more um, directions. Guys, it is about time. Eh, gracias por compartirnos sus mapas. Yo, uh, Jocelyn, thank you so much as well. I already saw yours. Uh, in the meantime, tenemos solo un par de minutitos para, um, mm, mm, para tomar asistencia. Pero antes de eso, eh, hay un ejercicio que tenemos pendiente con eh, Norberto. 
So give me one second. Um, Todos completaron el ejercicio del día de ayer, la sección número 8. ¿O alguien estaba pendiente? No, ya todos. Ok. So, Pedrina no le dio problema. No, no me dio problema. Ok, creo que con eh, Guadalupe estaba teniendo dificultades con la 8. ¿Guadalupe lo solucionó? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, Yo tuve problemas, problema. teacher. ¿Con qué número, Miss? Con la, el número 8. So, ahorita le presento mi pantalla para que lo veamos cause, eh, a veces son solamente you know, detallitos pequeños los que no, nos hacen eh, que no nos tome correctamente un ejercicio. Ok, la del día de ayer veíamos how to use it is allowed to, it is not allowed to y dice la instrucción. Read the following sentences and complete using the proper form of not allowed to. Pay attention to the pronouns. So, um, algunas de, los, de las cuestiones que vi del ejercicio es que recordamos que eh, si este es allowed to, ayer veíamos que no solamente es you allowed to, sino que utilizamos el verbo to be, right? So, we use, for example, uh, you are, he is, she is, I am. El verbo to be siempre debe de estar ahí. Allowed siempre va a llevar ED y luego utilizamos el to. But, si ustedes se fijan, el to ya está en la oración de arriba. Entonces, no es necesario que la escriban nuevamente. Be careful porque si se la agregamos, el ejercicio se lo va a tomar mal, right? Porque ya está predeterminado. Um, Guadalupe, ¿le dio alguna dificultad este ejercicio? No, Miss. No, we're good. Um, Anita, ¿qué, ¿qué le estaba marcando? Eh, me salió mal la teacher, pero yo puse toda la oración. Mm, ok, ok. So, let's give it a try. Intentemos nuevamente. En, no van a escribir yo porque ya está, right? Vamos a escribir solamente, dice acá, lo que hace falta. Using the proper, the proper or the most appropriate form of not allowed to. Por ejemplo, no le van a agregar you, no le van a agregar tú porque ya está acá. Uh -huh. Solo vamos a agregar la forma adecuada. Um, Norbert? Uh, I am here, teacher. Yeah, eh, creo que más o menos es el, el, el mm, orden que yes. nos daba, ¿verdad? Yes, 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 thank you, Miss. ¿Le funcionó al final? ¿Did it work? Yes. Oh, ok, yes. perfect. Yes. Entonces ya yes, estamos bien. Thank you. Ok, no worries, that's fine. So, solamente revisamos, please, that eh, no le estamos agregando una palabra adicional. Ok, guys, ayúdenme con su camarita. Help me out with your camera, please. Let me take the final attendance of the day. Y ya casi nos vamos. Así que, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Anita, me regala confirmación, please. Present teacher, I am here. Thank you so much. Brenda, <laughs> hello. Present teacher. Hello, Brenda. Thank you, Miss. Hello. Me alegre que ya está en su casa. I'm glad you're home already. Thank you, uh, Brian. Hi, I'm here. Hi there. Carlos. It's sexy, Brian. Okay. Thank you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you're so sweet, Danny. Uh, Guadalupe. Present me. Thank you so much. Uh, ta -ta. Jacqueline. Okay, we Jacqueline some seconds ago. Jackie, Jackie. No, she's not here. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn? Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, <clears throat> Ignacio? Present teacher. Thank you. Norberto? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Marvin Bonilla? Well, recuerdo haber escuchado a Marvin, but Marvin, Marvin. Teacher. Ahí está. I'll be here. Hi. Thank you, Marvin. Eh, Marvin I cannot listen. No, but I got you. No worries. Thank Present you. teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, Clary. Hi, Clary. Hello, hello, Miss. I am here. Hi, Miss. Glad to hear you. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Moses. Present teacher. Thank you. Pedrina. 
Present teacher. Ahí está. Awesome. René. René. Present, present, present. Thank you so much. Richard. Well, ahí está. I think he's busy. Eh, Mabel. Present. Thank you so much. And Ingrid. I think she was having problems with the audio. All right. Okay, everybody. Um, well, I just want to thank you because uh, at the end, you know, estamos trabajando para lograr el objetivo de cada uno de ustedes. And thanks for the effort. Gracias por esforzarse every single day. Um, this topic is un tema de life, you know. No solamente es para la plataforma, sino que nos va a ayudar in any moment, any time. Y gracias por la participación. Escuché a todos eh, practicando inglés, you know, intentando dar instrucciones en inglés. And that is amazing. Uh, recordemos que tenemos hasta mañana para completar el la unidad número dos, right? And uh, intentemos hacerlo antes de la clase para que ya estén tranquilitos o vayan a dormir. And you are fine. Um, no word. Oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ignacio. I'm reading your message now. And yeah, I truly appreciate uh, que esté con nosotros. Thank you so much for that. All right, guys, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Que descansen super bien. And have a good one. Bye, guys. Thank see you. you. Okay. See you, Great see night. you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.
Hola. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, oh, lo siento que perdí internet en la computadora y me pasé al celular. Ah, está bien, no, no se preocupe, no worries. Ah. Si gusta, veamos lo del ejercicio. Sí. Mm. Me dice que no le está marcando. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Es el de ahora, ¿verdad? Perdón, es el de ayer, el de Be El 8, ajá. Le voy a compartir mi pantalla y uh, si gusta lo vamos haciendo. Complete the exercise. Okay, there we go. So, eh, según la instrucción que tenemos, dice read the following sentences y vamos a completarlas uh -huh. utilizando la forma de not allowed to. Significa que todas estas van a ser negativas. Right? Um, uh, so, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, eh, el ejercicio que bien. me acabo de mandar era positivo. So, no es que estuviera mal, no es que el ejercicio sí. was wrong or anything, sino que, eh, déjeme ver, usted me dice, uh, me había escrito are allowed, pero como uh -huh. es de negativas, vamos a hacerlo negativo. Si gusta, usted me comparte su pantalla, no sé si la tiene o está en el teléfono. Estoy en el teléfono porque en la computadora estoy intentando y no me conecto de nuevo. Ah, ok. ¿Y en el teléfono la tiene abierta? ¿Tiene abierta la página? No, me, me voy a meter ahorita. Ay, ya logré entrar de nuevo. Ok, ok, ok. okay. Aquí en mi celular. Pero en, sí, en el teléfono mi, se puede. En el celular la estoy viendo usted, la tengo en Zoom, pero ya logré entrar al, a la página de para hacer el ejercicio en la computadora. Ah, bye. Ok, cool. Uh -huh. It's okay, it's fine. So, uh -huh. si gusta, lo vamos haciendo. So, we can okay. complete that one. Ok. Mm, no vamos a utilizar eh, contracciones, you know, por, eh, porque en teoría la tiene, tiene que aceptar así. So, yeah. You are not allowed. Exacto, you are not allowed. You are... Ya puse are not allowed y de todas maneras no, no, no la tengo bien. You're not allowed. Eh, y le puse el puntito siempre. ¿Sí? ¿El puntito? ¿Sí? Dele submit y envíela. Sí, ya le di. Todavía se la marca mal. Se, le voy a tomar una foto y se la voy a compartir porque es are not allowed, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, porque eso es el... está mal. Quiero verlo a tomar esta foto. Ah, no, sí, yo no, no, no identifico que puedo estar tomando mal. Ahorita se la voy a enviar, pero como estoy en el celular, quiero ver, creo que al, al WhatsApp se la voy a poder enviar. Eh, no hay problema, sí, that's fine. Pues en teoría se tendría que aceptarla. Quiero... A menos que sea algún espacio, una letrita que nos haga falta. You're not allowed. Yeah. Okay. Creería que es el punto en la primera. Porque siempre uh -huh. va a haber Entonces punto. lo tengo que quitar. Pero la sí, primera quítale. tiene el punto. Entonces se sí. lo quito. Sí, quítale el, el punto. El punto sí se lo va a tomar mal. Sí, porque... Ah, eso es. Ya se lo aceptó. Okay. Sí, ya me lo aceptó. Right. No, yeah, that was, a, that was the period. Ok. Uh, yeah, la segunda, yeah. de igual forma, has to be negative. Sí, ya, aquí ya me... Ya lo logré, ya le puse. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok, oh, ok, ok. Sí, a veces son cosas así tan pequeñitas, pero como la, la plataforma es bien cerrada, right? No permite sí. mayor, ajá, no permite como muchos cambios. Ok, okay. Y okay. tengo Perfect. dudas con otra también. Dígame, Quiero ¿qué número de la 8? La 6, no, de esa ya le agarré la onda. Pero great, de la 6, por ejemplo, yo tengo la primera que es There are a store in the city. Entonces mm -hmm. ya, eh, obviamente el error es el are y es is, porque está hablando de una tienda, pero... Yo uh -huh. recuerdo que decía que algunas tenía que poner la oración completa y algunas solo de la palabra, entonces yo le probé de todo y resulta ser que aquí me confunde porque la número uno me la pone buena solo si hago toda la oración. There is a store in the city y me la pone buena, pero la segunda 
si hago lo mismo, me la pone mal. Entonces le fui probando y probando y me aceptó buena solo si pongo la palabra office sin la S. Y sé que verdad, el, me confunde porque no, no sería lo con la oración completa solo la palabra. Sí, lo que pasa es que este ejercicio está diseñado para que le acepte de las dos formas. Le puede aceptar uh -huh. eh, ya sea con una, una, eh, una respuesta cortita o una respuesta larga, ¿verdad? Escribiendo toda la oración. Uh -huh. El detalle es que les comentaba del número 3 porque por alguna razón creería que es por la... Por las capital letters, a la mayoría no le agarraba la forma completa. Pero uh -huh. en este ejercicio, si usted, por ejemplo, pone acá en el 1 solamente uh -huh. is, pues se lo tiene que agarrar porque si sí, eh, agarra pues respuestas no cortas. Lo, no me lo agarraba, si le tuve que no pasar, de verdad que le probé todo. Y en el 3, 4 y 5 ya me salen mal. Pero yo ya lo hice tanto con la larga como con la corta. Entonces no sé qué. Porque, por ejemplo, el 3 dice, there is three distribution centers in Ilopango. Entonces, uh -huh. según yo, lo incorrecto es is, porque está hablando de tres centros de distribución. Entonces, okay. le puse there are, y uh -huh. me sale mal, y ya puse toda la oración completa y tampoco me la agarro. Vi el mm. punto. Ah, no sé. Fíjese que acá estoy revisando... Y sí, me parece que le tendría que agarrar de las dos. Bueno, hagamos una cosa. En la número tres uh -huh. escriba solamente ar, sin punto, sin nada, solo, solo ar. Ah, uh -huh. va, espera. Ar, vamos, le, tengo que poner la A mayúscula, a ver. No, ah, no, 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 sí, no, 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 Así ah, sí, solo la palabra sí. ah. Entonces, creería que es por un puntito, quizás eh, si le pone puntitos al final, comas al final, se la va a tomar mal. Entonces, quitémoselo, ¿verdad? No, no le pongamos. Uh -huh. ah, no le puse. Va. No. Y si me la tomó, la cuatro dice, there is a news office. Está uh -huh. hablando de nueva... Mm, no, Oficinas. Es que esto es lo malo. Ajá, entonces, según yo, como son oficinas mm. es R mm. Le lo pongo que pasa igual. es que es una oficina porque si no me tendría new. que cambiar dos palabras exacto, ah ok, te dice new entonces la palabra uh -huh. negra, la, la del error es new uh -huh. ok, ya ya there are, y la última es there are not person no hay una persona there is not person sería entonces There is no, not person. There is not person no, porque work. si yo pongo person, tendría que agregarle el a. There is not a person. Tendría, que, ca Ajá, tendría que agregarle, tendría que hacer un cambio y agregarle algo más. Entonces, Ajá. no, right? Pero si podemos usar, usar el plural de person, ¿qué sería? Uh -huh. eh, people. Ahí está, esa era. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, es cierto. Okay. Por ahí le marca. Sí, ya, aquí ya me marcan. Voy a terminar la 8 entonces ya con lo que ah, me okay. explicó. Muchas yes. gracias. No, you're no, welcome, you're bien. welcome. Cualquier cosa, you know, toma la captura y me la envía para tener como un, uh -huh. una idea de cuál es el ejercicio. That's fine, no worries. Ok, okay Mabel, gracias. gracias. Gracias por unirse. Have a good night. Good night.